All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us the 100% truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. I pray this is edifying, like the beloved brother Kazak uh, would say from Missouri. Okay, um, I wanted to do a response video to a video that was done by Apostle Gabar. Okay, this is um, a response video to a video that was done by the uh, beloved Apostle Gabar. And um, he was going into how the elect has the 100% truth, you know, because, you know, we here at Great Millstone, we don't we don't deal with gray areas, you know, you either have you either have the 100 100% truth or you don't got it. OK, you know, there's no such thing as half truth, you know, 25% truth. Okay. You know, you either have the 100% truth or you don't got it. Okay. That means the elect is going to know what the mark of the beast is, which is the CHIP. Okay. The elect is going to know about the Israelite Gentiles. Okay. Who were Hellenized, you know, during the uh, Hellenistic period. You know, they're going to know about, uh, you know, they're going to know that Cornelius is an Israelite. Okay. They're going to have the breakdowns of, uh, second address, um, the 11th and 12th chapters. They're going to be able to break down Daniel, the 11th chapter. Now that I'm saying that you're going to know every single mystery in the scriptures, like the brother Kazak said before, you know. 100% truth really is, you know, you just know enough to receive salvation. You know? Okay. You know? But either way it goes, you know, we know the elect is going to be diligent. They're going to be studying, reading. Okay. They're going to be given diligence, you know. The elect is going to understand that not every Israelite is going to look like Denzel Washington or Wesley Snipes. You know. The elect is going to understand that there are Israelites out there that look like people of the other nations. They're going to know about the diaspora, the dispersed. They're going to know these things. Okay? They're going to tell you not to take Maxine. You get what I'm saying, okay? The Capri Sun. They're going to tell you not to take that shit. Okay? Man, many people... <laughs> Overheated and, and, and basically their spirit went back to the spirit world because of that damn taco sauce. Okay, that 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 uh, taco bell juice You know The elect is going to know that the Sabbath is based upon the new moon the elect is going to know that the new moon is when the moon becomes dim Okay when, 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 when you can't see the moon at night, that's how you know you're in a new moon. And the Sabbath is dictated by the new moon. The elect is going to know this. They're also going to know that whatever day that the, the moon, the new moon falls on, it's the Sabbath every week of that day until the next new moon. Okay, the elect is going to know that the new moon is not the full moon. Okay, when it's a full moon, 
that means you're halfway through the month. Okay, if you know how to read the moon, you could tell what, what, what time of the month it is. Okay, when it's a full moon, it means you're halfway through the month. Okay, when it's a, when, when it's a quarter moon, that's, that's, I believe, one week right there. I believe a, a quarter moon on, when, when, when it's a quarter moon, I believe on the, on the right side of the moon, that, that, that's one week right there. Okay. Okay. A full moon, I believe, is a half a month. And then the new moon means that it's the end of that month. But then, um, yeah, when, when you got a quarter moon, when, when you got a, a quarter moon on the left side of the moon, that means you're in the third week. And then, of course, the new moon is, you know, it's the new moon, a new month, which the word moon goes back to month, especially when you look it up. So a quarter moon on the right side of the moon, that's that's your first week right there. OK, half a moon is. Uh, that's your your second week, your that that means you're halfway through the month. When you got a quarter moon on the left side of the moon, that you're in the third week. And then the new moon means it's a new month, okay? You don't see the moon up in the sky. But the elect is gonna have this info, okay? We know the elect is gonna be sincere. You know, they're gonna teach the truth. You know, they're not gonna hide it, okay? The elect is gonna expose who the Edomites are. They're gonna expose who these heathen nations are. You got some Israelites that don't even teach, you know, that, that you got some Israelites that, that teach that, that the Puerto Ricans are not Israelites. Yes, they are. Okay. The, the, the Puerto Ricans are Israelites. They come from the tribe of Ephraim. Okay. And how, how, how are we able to link these things up through biblical prophecy? Because the scriptures give you the, um, the information of how each tribe is, you know, we know uh, uh, Levi is into voodoo and witchcraft. OK, that, that's the Haitians right there. OK, they're into voodoo and witchcraft. OK, Judah is the main tribe. You know, how do we know that so-called Negroes come from the tribe of Judah? Because Yahweh is described as a so-called Negro. OK. But um, I just wanted to do an edifying lesson. Lord's will, this video was edifying. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom. So on to the next one.